Hello there folks and welcome back to Empire Total War as Sweden our push on Spain is just beginning we're marching our troops through France and uh, I think uh, things are gonna go well now we haven't really expanded in a while and uh, we finally we finally have control over the east and we finally I think are ready to start pushing again now here's the thing, someone did mention that, uh, so, first, first, or fifth rates, and third rates, obviously it's like, first rates are better than sixth rates, and uh, th they get bigger, uh, and I know, I'm well aware of that, so my fleet would probably get destroyed, uh, by this fleet here. The question is, I was more thinking, like, I don't actually know the exact amount of cannons, uh, in these ships here, so, that's sort of more what I was leaning towards. Uh, because I don't know the exact difference between... Because the third rate is obviously more powerful. Like, it has 194 men. But, how many more cannons are those? Well, actually, I can see the whole strength. Maybe that... Yeah, I mean, it's like... 50... Oh, almost twice. Almost twice the whole strength. You know what, let's run away with the fleet. I, uh, I can't be bothered to risk my uh, my glorious fleet oh right I'm also at war with Russia because they tried to invade us uh, I'm thinking are they at war they're at war with the Ottomans but could we request a peace deal great fantastic thank you ah we've lost Gustav uh, or called Gustav on felt here uh, our general let's go ahead and uh, no not just replenish what am I doing recruit a general uh, Garamund Tor Torkelinson. Tor Tor okay, whatever. Uh, why are you not replenishing? That's very expensive, but we're, we're gonna do that. Now, we could make Georgia a wealthy place, but I think we're gonna focus on getting a shipyard here, because we do need, uh, in the future, I mean, I'm not focusing on the fleet, but we do need to have the infrastructure in place in, in case we want a fleet in the Black Sea. All right, Spain. I think it's over. We've got 40 units marching on your capital. Things are uh, gonna start to look dire very soon. Do you even have an army here? Oh, this is gonna be easy. Ooh, only one ship here. It's a bomb catch. But you know what? I want a naval battle. I want to fight a naval battle. Of course, we would win this doing auto resolve. But I think I uh, I just want to to practice a bit. God damn it, they have the wind. I mean, I'm gonna win, but what if I lose a ship? That'd be... I'd cry. It's actually really scary when they fire, because, you know, one good hit could really screw us over. We've already lost a lot of cannon... or cannons. Cannon? Uh, plural is cannon, actually, because it's a battery of cannon. Uh, but... Yeah, now hopefully we'll just fire a good broadside here and uh, destroy them quickly before they can damage us more. Come on, destroy them, please. Oh, wow! That was worth it. That was nice, that was really nice to see. Look at that. Oh, poor, poor souls though. Poor guys. Ooh, this is exciting. Should we fight it or should we auto-resolve it? I, I sort of want to see the Spanish countryside um, but I don't know I mean it feels like it's too easy yeah let's not fight that that was a that was a pretty decent victory there oh and we get to have the royal palace of Madrid fantastic yeah even though I really want to see the countryside the Spanish countryside we uh, we're just gonna auto resolve all of this because honestly it's fun but fighting battles in Total War games uh, sometimes against the AI especially will t can take way too long for something that sh should be r rather easy actually. Ooh, a second rate ship of the line. Uh, very low maneuverability, very strong hull strength. I feel like fighting this as well just to have some fun. Ah, uh, this is great. We have the wind with us. People are happy. We're totally gonna win, and uh, I'm gonna learn. 
Right, actually, it's not learn, obviously, this is way too easy, but I just I just like watching things blowing up some sometimes. Oh, there we go, come on. Hmm. Nice hits, but nothing happened, it seems. I don't know, I, I was thinking of sinking it, but I feel like it's more effective to try to capture it, maybe, if we can. Ooh, they're already thinking of surrendering. Now that they don't really have sails. Wait, what? We actually sank it? But I only took out the sails. What? I, why don't I get the ship? Give me it. God damn it. Ah, we're rising by defeating Spain here. The British are also rising very fast for some reason. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. We're, uh, we're doing our thing. We are... This army is sort of in the mountains here, which is unfortunate. But I think we're going to march it in the direction of Lisbon. And this one can just stay here until we've fixed everything. So, I don't know what happened, but I think our army expenses went up quite a lot. Uh, we're only making 1,300 a turn, which is really quite sad. In fact, we're going to try to get some trade deals with some people here. Uh, maybe the Italian states. Would you like to? You, would you like to trade? No. Dagestan would like to trade, but only if I enter a military alliance and give them a region. Uh, no. I guess it must be the interruption of trade with the British. That's probably what's causing it. Uh, we are very reliant on trade income at the moment, and I think we need to start widening our markets. Uh, but first, let's destroy Spain. Ah, Lisbon, Lisbon, Lisbon. I think it's your time to uh, to fall to the Swedish might. Let's see if this works. I mean, we'll win. I could have auto-resolved it, but I, I just wanted to see uh, Portugal here. Or Spain, the Iberian Peninsula. Looks pretty nice. We're gonna move closer to the wall here. Uh, start climbing up. I mean, I don't really need to show this battle, do I? It's quite clear who's gonna win. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Get the hell out of there. Yo, 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 yo. What are you doing? Get out of there. Oh my god. My units are stupid. Ah, yes. This is gonna be nice. Alright. You're gonna charge there. You're just armed citizen. It's just armed citizenry everywhere. This. I don't even know why I'm fighting this. I should just have auto resolved. The 37th Regiment of Foot holding the this one building in the fort against a bunch of units. Uh, vital that they survive here. Not vital, I mean I'll win anyway. I just uh, can't bother to send in a lot of units. Ah, the brave 5th Regiment of Foot here. The Spanish marching straight on, determined to, to capture this corner of the fort. They will be disappointed. Enemy general killed, and that's their cavalry right there. Ah, uh, nice. I mean, we lost a lot of men in the individual units to do this, but I think it's worth it. They're trying to shoot into the building. It's kind of stupid, like, you're surrounded by units. Maybe you should be shooting at the people you can see. But I'm not going to complain more about the AI. I mean, yeah, the AI is bad. Goodbye, gentlemen. It's time to die. Well, I mean, they've already been dying for a while. It's kind of nice when uh, everyone fires at the same time, though. It's uh, actually quite uh, quite satisfying. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Brave, brave men. Welcome to Lisbon. The, a beautiful city. We lost 119. 40 of our kills, or almost 50 of them, were actually uh, friendly kills, but whatever. We're, that was a pretty nice ratio there. Let's exempt them from tax and uh, make them happy. Should we? Let's do that one. Oh, we don't have the money, of course. Russia would accept a trade agreement for 390 gold. I'll accept that. What about Austria? Will you accept a trade agreement? Oh, you will. Fantastic. The annoying thing about the AI, is, of course, is that it has these small little armies marching around everywhere, destroying uh, buildings and stuff, but uh, that's a minor thing. We'll, uh, we'll be destroying the Spanish anyway. It's kind of nice, though, because we'll probably be able to cross here from Gibraltar to Morocco. 
and then march on to Algiers, and then we'll actually have a border with Russia. Well, we might be able to wipe them out once and for all after that. Uh, in fact, they're only allied with Spain. And uh, then we'll, we can go all the way to Cairo. So, somehow the British have Milan, uh, which bothers me quite a bit. Uh, I guess they must have taken it in a peace treaty with Spain, because they don't seem to be fighting Spain anymore. Uh, or did they even, were they ever at war with Spain? I mean, that's the great question. It's so weird to play these games nowadays. Uh, like, Crusader Kings got less weird, because I, I play a lot of that, but like, Coming back to Empire Total War, and then you see these ministers, and they're like, what? Okay, they these are in their 30s, but some do, some guys like this Alf Grunhagen, 23. That's almost my age. That that's crazy. Like, imagine me as a minister of something. That'd be, oh god. And of course we have some rebels. Um, yeah. The thing is, they put their goddamn gentlemen on the bridge, and that somehow can pause my army or stop my army. That's stupid. I went ahead and auto resolved that because I just can't be bothered, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to march that one back to Lisbon, and then these ones we'll deal with at some point later in the future. You know, I could send them to Lisbon, or I could just take Gibraltar right now. And then, uh, send the others back. Will you surrender? Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. The Portuguese have rebelled! Surprise, surprise. And they are right in the way to Lisbon. We're gonna destroy them. But first, let's actually go ahead and destroy this army here that's been raiding us forever. Ah, uh, should I even fight them? Like, I sort of want to go ahead and hear Portuguese in the battle, but... You know, whatever. Uh, and in fact... We haven't lost any single unit, so that's fine. Ah, one last battle there. And that should actually make the population of Lisbon... Pretty... Stable. Great. Pretty happy. Not happy, of course. Now the thing is, are they still blocking us? Why can't we cross here? Hmm. There's something strange here. It's, oh, it's the ships. Right. Because they, by having the ships there, they're actually blocking us from reaching Morocco. You know what? Let's do it. Let's declare war on Dagestan. Prussia and the Ottomans have joined. Uh, they're probably to go crazy but we're gonna take that we don't have a full stack here but we're safe ah Dagestan is attacking me on the pass well this is gonna be interesting they have not as many troops they do have five artillery though uh, not as much cavalry but about as much infantry and it's pretty even actually Looks like a pretty clear battlefield to me. Let's see where they spawn. Oh, nice. Why do I say nice? Because I'm going to completely destroy their lines here and maybe kill their general right off the bat. No, no, maybe not. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I just love artillery. It's so, it's so powerful, it's so beautiful. All right, we're going behind their lines there. We're going, we're still flying straight at them. Hopefully, we'll get them on a retreat here. I'm gonna try to make sure to really wipe out their artillery so that they don't come back. Because artillery is a pain. All they really have left now is just some units here in the middle and the artillery at the back. I think uh, it's a done deal. What? We were actually routed? That's. I'm fascinated. That is uh, really surprising. Uh, I guess we charged an infantry unit by mistake. I was just only charging the the artillery. Oh, there we go. Victory heroic. Let's see how many we lost. We lost 269. Uh, they killed 50, uh, 251. 
Uh, so there's a little bit of friendly fire there, but we are good. That was really good. All right, Dagestan, will you surrender? Refused. All right, let's uh, let's auto resolve this. It's a victory, and Dagestan has ceased to exist. Fantastic. It's kind of nice though, because now we actually have these uh, these buildings that are starting to look more uh, Islamic, Middle Eastern, Oriental. Uh, Georgia was still sort of Western, yeah. Uh, but Dagestan is our first uh, sort of different region. The Maratha Confederacy has attacked the Ottomans. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna fight this war. Are you? Are you mad? Decline. I'm sorry, Ottomans. I'm very sorry. That is an auto resolve. We lost a hundred. They are gone, and we've gained a trait. Morale in battles. Fantastic. I'm in a little bit of an awkward position because I was just betting on the fact that I could cross to Morocco here, but we don't have the navy to defeat the Spaniards. And um, I mean, if I'm gonna send troops to Naples, I actually have to attack the Italian states, or the Papal State as I'd rather call them, and to attack the Papal State I actually have to fight Venice. Venice is... it's not like I can defeat them, but it's just a pain, you know, to do all of that. Uh, so I'm thinking we should probably be thinking about some other move. Uh, a move that excludes Spain. So, I'm thinking open negotiations, request peace. There we go. Glorious. I think what we will prepare though here is an invasion of Britain. That is the next step. Uh, they, they have a navy, yes, this is true. However, I can get an army across in one in one move. And uh, I think, I mean, if that is our move of declaration, what the only thing that will happen is that we will declare war on Austria because the British are only allied to Austria, and they're already at war with uh, the Prussians, the French, and uh, yeah, this is, I think, this is our move. The last stand of Austria, though, here in Klausenburg, is about to fall, though, and. Um, Maybe the British will ally someone else? Hopefully not. I only need two more turns, or actually three, in order to do what I'm thinking. What? You want me to give you Muscovy? And you'll give me Baluchistan? Are you... no. No. I just watched France capture Rome. Uh, so that's exciting. I mean... I wasn't, I was almost expecting France to become, or to stay small, but it seems like they're actually making a push this time, or not this time, but they're actually expanding, so uh, taking them out later uh, won't be as easy as I was planning, uh, but we've severely weakened them, and we want to make sure to weaken the British, or destroy them in Europe as quickly as possible before uh, they become too powerful for us to handle. The Russians cancelled their trade agreement? How ingrateful. Austria and the Ottoman Empire are at war. Wait, who declared war on who? The Ottomans... Oh, wait. Oh. Ah, yikes. It looks like uh, Russia is actually pushing through Ottoman land and has taken Jerusalem and Syria whilst the Maratha Confederacy has taken Baghdad. That is actually kind of crazy. Uh, whilst have the British declared war? No. Uh, only the only the Austrians here. This is really interesting. But yeah, the Italian states are gone. All right, the army is loaded. Let's go ahead and uh, land. Wait, how do I do this? Navy. No, army. Come on. You are loaded, right? No. Now they're loaded. Great. 
And then we just uh, click on London. Actually, no, we have to click outside London. And click uh, declare war. Great Britain and Austria break their alliance, so Austria doesn't even join. I was almost looking, I was actually looking forward to, uh, to doing that, to going ahead and uh, invading Austria. But uh, we can do that anyway. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. The army is right over there, and then we can retreat our fleet back to port. Well, hello there, Austria. Let's uh, let's do this. I want uh, I want Transylvania. Thing is, your army's over there, and that army's over there. I don't really know who's gonna get what, but at least I'm in the war. I'm almost hoping Russia blocks off the Maratha Confederacy and takes Anatolia or Ankara or something. Because I'd really love to march troops and take Russian land. But, anyhow, the uh, adventures of uh, the expeditionary force led under Admund Jokne. Almund uh, Jokne. And uh, the war against the Ottoman Empire by the Eastern Powers, as well as the push into the last holdout of Austria Hungary, is going to have to wait until the next episode. Uh, because, well, I say so. So for now, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Game Gamster. We're having a lot of fun. I'm actually really enjoying this campaign, and I'm sure you are as well. Don't forget to leave suggestions down below. This has been Game Gamster. Farewell. <laughs>